Welcome to YouTube Excel trick number three. Hey, we have a little table here. There's test one, test two, test three, test four, all the way to test six. It could be whatever. And we want to calculate some averages. So in this v, this little uh, uh, trick number three, we're going to see how to do the average. But even more importantly, we're going to see a cool keyboard shortcut, Control Enter. We're going to learn what Control Enter does. All right, I want you to click and highlight. We're going to use the Control Enter trick to create a formula. And when we hit Control Enter, it'll put it into the, all the cells. Now watch this. The light color cell is right there. All the rest of the highlighted cells are a little bit darker. You can always tell where the thing is going to go, whether it's a formula or, or a word or a number, by seeing the light cell. Hey, I'm going to type equals, which is the character which starts any formula. And I'm going to type average, which is arithmetic mean. Average, I can't, I can't even uh, type. Hey, but look at this. This is new in 2007. A little drop down comes up, and you can see it says average, and that's the function I want. And then you can hit tab. Now I'm going to use my up arrow one. You can see the dancing ounce dancing around right there. But if I hold shift and continue to up arrow, that's a quick keyboard shortcut to highlight a range while entering a function. Now I want to put close parentheses. Now watch this. There's the formula, and it is a formula that says, hey, average all the ones above me. So when I control enter, the formula will go into all the cells. Control enter. If you don't believe it, click in the last cell in the range and hit F2 key, the F2 key. Look at that. Like magic, it knows to go this many above and take the average. I'm going to click Escape. Now, what I want to show you is something interesting about the average function. Notice there's a blank here and a blank here. But right now, that average function does not include that in its calculation. So right here in this column, it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It adds them all up and divides by 10. Now, what if you really want to include that as a 0? You could type 0 into each one of these, right? I'm going to Escape and Control ZZ. Control Y, but there's a much faster way to put zeros into a bunch of cells. Watch this trick. We're going to use the go to trick to highlight all the blank cells. So I highlight the range and I hit the F5 key. That is the go to. Ooh, the special button. Click on the special button. No way, there's a blanks. Click on the blanks, click OK. Whoa, look at that. It went and highlighted just the blank cell. Now, type this, notice the same thing here is down here. This is the light color one. The other one's a little bit dark, darker. So if I type 0, don't hit Enter, hit Control Enter. Again, Control Enter populates all the highlighted cells with the thing you just typed. So Control Enter. Look at that. Just a moment ago, this was 50-something. Now it's 37 because it's got the zeros. So there you go. And there's you can hit Pause, and there's the little tricks we just did. All right, I'll see you next um, uh, YouTube uh, trick uh, number four next time.